Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, so I know it's really, really cutting it close, but I have a um, Christmas mini album for you today. Um, I wanted to film it just in time for the holidays, of course. I'm going to turn off this light. And so it's kind of gloomy outside. It's snowing and it's normally really bright, but I have some trees covering this window, so I don't, I'm not getting a whole bunch of light in. But anyways, um, I'll go ahead and show you the album, but let me show you what papers and cartridges I use. So I use this really fun um, Anna Griffin Winter, Winter Wonderland cartridge. Um, let me see if I can find the booklet that has images in there. Please, it has really cool words in there. Trees. I didn't use as much as I um, wanted to, only because... With these, they're a lot smaller cuts, and they're a lot more detailed, so you need to kind of put them on a bigger scale. Um, but this this book ha actually had a lot of um, cut-aparts and large prints on its uh, pages anyway, so I decided to go ahead and use these, but there's still a lot of great pages in there I didn't use. I think I might have only used six pages, uh, um, not including the cut-aparts. So, let me go ahead and switch these. There we go. All right. So the cover is nine by six. Aha. See, I, I measured it before I recorded this. And then the inside is eight and a half by five and a half. And so um, this is one of the cut aparts. It was a large one. And I just decided to go ahead and use it for the cover. Here is the spine. I've, again, here's this really frilly fun lace. And I put some lace in the middle. And then here is the back. Um, and so I'm hoping, there we go, if you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and do it again. Um, alright, so let me go ahead and show you the inside. So I kind of regretted putting these two patterns together, um, only because they're very, very busy, and I don't like the busy clashing with the busy. And so, um, when, the, a lot of these flaps are magnetized, so they're not just hanging out. Um, and so, uh, for this one, this is actually a negative Christmas tree. Um, it was a negative because the Christmas trees were on this side and this side from the Created Critter cartridge, but I just decided to go ahead and use it, decorate it with pearls and, um, glitter and a little punch on top. And then I had this leftover word from my gypsy, uh, just says home. And then here's just some little tags in here with a little llama coming out of the Christmas tree. And um, all of these little pockets were made from leftover cuts from pockets I created. So when you open it this way, this is one of the tags. It came out with little um, gift tags, which was kind of cool. But I decided to cut this out and use it. And then I put some pine needles back here with a frame that I got from my envelope punch board. Um, and then here is one of those cuts from the Cricut cartridge. And I left this all open for a photo. And um, all of these, I won't pull them all out, but they're all the same. They have... Um, a detail liquid pearl on top and bottom with photo and you can either put another photo here or some journaling um i'll go put this on the side all right so for this one as you can tell i love my envelope frame punch board i love the sophisticated cartridge more but when you're in the um the mood to do quick projects this is perfect for that and so i just got some glittery green paper have a lace in the background with some more of those cuts and then here's a punch from I think Friskers I'm not sure I think so but anyways just a little collection of flowers right here here's another pocket page and that's what it looks like um, and here's just some cut aparts from that stack um, they're just really cute enough to be able to cut them and stick them in there and I um, decorated it with some rhinestones I popped out in all three of these embellishments this llama, as you've seen, was in a corner page, so it was perfect for this little pocket here. Um, and this one's my favorite page. It's like, I made a little snow scene with some glittery paper. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's glittery paper. Cut, uh, I free cut one of the llamas, and then here's, again, that little, those little mistletoes right there on top. And then, for this one, this was a Martha Stewart snowflake punch, dollar store sticker, rhinestone very very easy and I put one of these um flaps on each side and it just says dear santa in the middle so you can hold photos in there of course there are some um homemade flowers right there at the corner and then another pocket these are all pocket pages 
Um, this is a cute page. It just says Merry Christmas and an envelope I got from Hobby Lobby. I could have made this with my envelope punch board, but I got the envelopes for a dollar, so might as well use them. And the miss is just a little tag. It says, I'm only a morning person on December 25th with a little spot for photo. Let me just put it in there. There we go. Here's again one of those, um, I guess those holly leaves that are in there. And then I just put some um, pine needles right here and it just says Merry Christmas. Um, again, here is one of those llamas and the trees are actually from the paper stack that I cut, uh, freehand cut. And then I added <coughs> this, uh, frame with some little snowflakes. And then this is just one of the borders that it came with that I just free cut. And of course that's a little pocket and it's just so cute. It says, not a creature was stirring, not even a llama. And it's a little llama sleeping. All right. And then when we open it up, another little pocket with uh, a frame it doesn't have the acetate on it because um, it was just a small pocket and I didn't want it to um, be pop dotted because of course it was being laid shut so it's just flat um, but it'll fit one of those little in instax Fu fujifilm polaroid photos in here and then this one just says kiss me with mistletoes up there and the last page, this is another reason why I didn't want, I shouldn't have picked this paper because these two patterns are clashing and it's making me angry inside, but I guess I'll deal with that internally. <laughs> um, but anyways, here is that belly band page with some cut aparts. And then this one just says, ho, 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 happy holidays. And they, I mean, these would be cute to make Christmas photos too. Um, not just using them for photo mats, but, um, of course that's what this is for here. Maybe next year I'll do some christmas cards with those because i still have another sheet um but anyways there's just some more pine needles in the back and there's the back oh and i did get these i wanted to show you guys i went to vistaprint.com no sponsor or anything but i actually ordered these um stickers so when i make a project and give them out to people i wanted to show you guys what i do with them they're just stickers and i put them just on the bottom so that way when I give them to people, they know where to go on Facebook if they want to create custom projects. So, um, yeah, that's just my little thing that I do. Um, I also have them for my photography page. So, uh, just a little tidbit if you guys want to. I don't like stamping. I'm not very good at stamping. So, um, yeah. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas or um, Hanukkah, holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. I love you all and I appreciate your support all year. And, um, all right, we'll see you in 2018. Bye.